Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today Mojang released the 12W36A snapshot, and it's got some pretty cool features in it, so I thought I'd go over some of those. Of course, the first one here is the new mob heads. I think these are supposed to be rare mob drops, although to be honest, I spawned a bunch of skeletons and let them sort of burn up in the sun, and I didn't get any to drop, so I'm not 100% sure that it's actually in the game as a drop, but maybe I just didn't try hard enough. There's five in total. There's a zombie creeper skeleton, the new wither skeleton, and Steve head, and I guess you can get them as rare, rare drops probably eventually when the snapshot actually comes out. Uh, if you wear one on your head, you can actually get a, kind of a mask effect going on, which is pretty cool. And otherwise, they support rotation a lot like signs, so if you place them, they'll basically face you, which is pretty cool. Saddle pigs became a little bit more useful. Now you can ride them and pull out your carrot on a stick and the pig will try and go towards it. So basically it'll go whichever direction you're facing. And they also increase the p speed of the pig so that it moves along at a reasonable clip. I think something like five, five miles per hour or something. And so that's actually quite useful. You can use this for all sorts of pig racing and <laughs> uh, Mario Kart and Minecraft, that sort of stuff. Very cool. Saddled pigs also now drop their saddle when they die, so you can actually get that back. There's a new mob. It's the uh, Wither Skeleton. You saw the head before, but you can actually spawn one in the nether by just right-clicking your uh, skeleton spawn egg. Of course, sometimes it'll spawn a normal skeleton, which is kind of weird, actually. Uh, but So these guys are the Wither Skeletons. If you go ahead and kill them, they'll drop... Uh, well, that guy didn't drop anything. They'll drop bones and coal. Yeah, there we go. Bones and coal. And sometimes they also have a rare drop, which is the Nether Star. You can just look at it, look it up in the creative inventory. This is actually used for crafting the beacon block. Uh, but the yeah, the Wither Skeletons are kind of nasty because well, they don't have a bow, but uh, if they do hit you, you get that Wither Poison effect that uh, that that slowly poisons you and uh, and it may actually heal the Wither Skeleton. I'm not sure, but. But yeah, they're they're necessary for the new, uh, you know, wither skulls. Probably hitting them with the sword is what makes them drop the the, uh, the actual skull, and the wither or the nether star for the beacon block. Speaking of that beacon, I actually had my facts a little bit wrong. That nether star item doesn't come from the wither skeleton. It comes from the wither uh, sort of boss itself, which is actually just called a wither. But you can use that to craft the beacon. Just put it in the middle. Five glass and three obsidian. You get that beacon, uh, and it actually looks a little bit cooler now than it did before. You get the beam up to the sky if you put it on top of a pyramid of uh, blocks, some sort of metal blocks, and you can, uh, if I just give myself a diamond real quick, you can still use it just like you did before. And when you do that, um, when you're near the beacon, you'll get the effect that you bought in the beacon block. So yeah, that comes the the Nether Star comes from the Wither uh, Wither itself, which is much more difficult to obtain, I would say. Super flat world terrain generation has been modified a bit, uh, so that instead of having say bedrock, dirt, 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 you can have whatever different layers you want, going all the way up to 256. And what I've done here is I've actually set it to just a layer of air. So in this case, it's actually not going to spawn any terrain. I took a, a normal super flat world and, and modified the NBT data file and did this. It's there's no way to do this easily from any sort of GUI. You have to actually edit the file itself. But I, I linked to a post by Dinnerpone that says sort of how you could do that if you're familiar with editing NBT structures. But this is really cool for map makers because it allows us to create maps that won't generate any t new terrain no matter how far you are, ha ha how far you go which is which is a really cool feature it means that the map sizes can be smaller because you don't need to include a bunch of empty chunks outside of the core of the map itself very cool all right so the last feature i'm going to get to for this snapshot is how to summon the wither and here it is you put the three soul sand down and then oh man so there it is here's the guy uh, he starts out at half health for some reason, but he heals up to full, and starts kind of blinking. Oh my god, yeah, there it is. And here we go. <laughs> so I'm able to damage him pretty quickly here, actually. 
if I take out my bow, I can shoot him. Um, he's not shooting me because I'm in creative mode, which is quite useful. But I do still have that wither effect. There we go. Now he's shooting me. Uh, yeah, so you, you get him down. Um, he has sort of a passive regeneration effect. If you look, uh, he's actually regaining health while I'm uh, while I'm hitting him. But, uh, yeah, he starts ignoring me if I stop hitting him for a while. Okay, so now he is angry. <laughs> you can see that he's got the... Uh, He's got that shininess, and so now if I hit him with a bow and arrow, he just ignores it. He is completely immune to it while he's in this angry mode, which is kind of freaking scary if you think about it. But, um, oh, he's going for the pig. Uh, so, definitely, definitely a very scary dude, and if I kill him, oh my god, of course he goes right by all the... TNC. I don't know if you saw it, but he did drop a, a nether star. Yeah, I think it got exploded and all that explosion. But, oh man. So, that is the, that is the wither, and, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be quite difficult to kill. You might have, you might find some way to trap it and, and, uh, kind of like I did in my timer video, but that's quite a difficult task. So if you want to build that beacon yourself, you're going to need to work pretty hard. But that's about all I have to show you for this snapshot. It's, it's got a lot of great features. I'm really liking what they're doing with a lot of these. And I think they're going to impact survival in some really cool ways. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.